I uh, just want to talk about the flip sides. Um, if you've got a negative, always look for the positive. For example, I'm off to the UK again today, uh, back to work, and I could be gone for up to three to five days. Um, I've had two weeks at home, one week on holiday, one week working from home. Um, but the other side of this is when you look out the window, this is Spain, you know. A lot of people only see this twice a year, uh, well, for two weeks of the year, where I get to see it nearly every month. Got cut off, um, my tannoys kept going at the airport. Um, it's now Tuesday night. <coughs> yeah, what I was saying about flip sides. Um, in life, you have a lot of stuff that is put forward, or you have to do, but don't forget why you're doing it, because that's your driving force. Um, now, like I said, I'm away this month for up to 35 days. I might be able to fly out, not next week, but the week after. Um, but the fact is, I've got my new Mercedes getting dropped off tomorrow. Um, so I've got getting a free upgrade. Uh, well, I say free, it's part of my, um, part of my business package, but also, I look at Spain and what salaries are available. Most people there are earning between 700 and 1500 euros a month, um, which means like the properties, um, price wise, we can pay, pay for one in a couple of years, if not in a year. Now, it means a bit of sacrifice for the first year. At the same time, we're, we're jumping ahead for most people, by a decade. Um, it was the same in the Philippines. Everything, every month, to me, um, was at least three, three to six months, if not a year, to to a lot of other people. Um, but it all comes from commitment. But it also comes from when you're doing the hard stuff, remembering why you're doing it. Um, like I said, the Mercedes thing. I got the Mercedes tomorrow. Mercedes isn't a big thing for me, but it, it sort of offsets a little bit of being away from home. Um, the same as I'm increasing my investments now into um, funding circle. Um, I'm having to drip feed it in because they can't loan out the amount of money that's available, which suits me as well because I need to get this ISA set up so I can put some in the ISA. Um, so every month, it's a case of, right, I've got savings that are starting to show that they're coming together. The Philippines now, um, the last windows went in the, the last apartment. We've now got somebody wanting to rent one of the apartments long term. Renting that long term means I don't need to send money to the Philippines anymore um, because it's then fully um, funding itself. But more importantly... I can then move money that currently being transacted to the Philippines um, from online incomes and start shoving those into investments and savings. So that is where I am at the moment. And I know I'm at the beginning because the investments and savings don't happen overnight. They, they take time, um, but it is happening. And that, once you start to see the first bits of money starting to come together in there, um, the bank account in Spain is nearly up to ten thousand euros as well. You start to see that your life's coming together. Because for most people, they struggle, but what you'll find with people that have got ahead, things get easier because you've got budget. Because you know. When you haven't got money and your car breaks down or something, you're struggling to find it, it goes on the plastic or whatever. So you're paying out more all the time. But once you get ahead, A, you're prepared for something that's going to be a cost. You have your emergency fund. But B, you don't get stressed about it because your money's already there. But also, you're already built in, like I was saying with these investments, every year now, there's going to be money coming back. So a lot of the bill money will eventually just be self-funding out of interest. But I just wanted to share this because 
a lot of people you you hear them with the like the guy who wrote the four hour work week. He talks about don't um talk to people that or read people that are are on the way to doing it. Um, that's only because I mean it's funny that uh coming from somebody that wrote a book on self help etc. That his whole ideal is based on oh trust me, um when his whole book when you read it if you read things like eat eat that frog um and uh some of the other stuff out there you will see there's at least five books in the four hour work week in my opinion that are would be borderline plagiarism um it's not that he found some new formula the formula is already there the formula i'm talking about now with you is the same formula that they're all using and it's not theirs it's simply one that works. What they've done is invested the time to read up on it because it works. Um, now, when it, when you look at it at the moment, um, the investments are starting again because uh, obviously moving from the Philippines, it's cost me a lot of money, um, but we still retain the apartments. We've now got six apartments in the Philippines, although the last one's going to need a, a fair bit of investment. Hoping to rent three out because they're not fund finishing the last one, which is ours. Because um, once that's done, that I've got my retirement home. Should we say? <laughs> Don't like to say retirement home, <laughs> um, but we got our place in the Philippines. But um, I've lost my chain of thought now. Yeah, the point is with these videos, you can see where I'm starting. Um, this is why, if you're interested follow it if you're not don't but you'll see over time things start to come together the investments at the moment are trickling in um we've probably got about maybe seven or eight thousand pounds um that might get wiped out at some point for the deposit for the house but at the same time i'll still keep chipping away at the isas and the peer-to-peer uh, -peer lending and start moving more and more money from the online lend uh, investments from the Philippines into more investments that are used for uh, loans. Come all for peer-to-peer -peer lending. At the end of the day, the West is suffering because of the bad management of the banks. So having a lending platform that doesn't involve the banks uh, I'm, I'm all for that. Not that I'm bitter against the banks. I, mean, I just, I find they missell themselves as being some sort of saviour and uh, guardian of your children when they're, they're more like a uh, parasite or a, a chain around the neck. Because the rope you aim with one thing and then they just keep hold of you. Um, that's the cycle of debt. And that's what we avoid. But yeah, back back in the UK for another month. Um, like I said I can sneak sneak away for a week. Uh, during that month, it'd be ideal. But flight prices have shot up because it's bank holiday weekend coming up, and there's school holidays coming up as well. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's my update for May. All right, thanks for watching.